I'm just waiting on Twitch to catch up on the browser. It's been getting faster. There it is. Uh, I'm going to do a quick sound check. Okay. We are good. I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's go. Okay, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 230 and the new 2020, brand new year 2020. And let's just start saying hi and we'll jump right in. I'm Hiam. There's Tom. I'm Tom. Howdy, everyone. And and just I hope everyone had a good new year. Um, that's I got nothing. Nothing special happened to me in the last two weeks. So I just figured we'd we jump right into it. So I was talking to Tom, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and saying, which we should, I don't think anyone's going to listen to all 230 episodes to catch back up. And I know people do like somebody will inevitably say, Hey, but I did that. But I figured let's start the new year with, let's go back to the beginning. So backing up and passwords and how the internet works and all these other things. And we'll just update them because we've been doing this for probably five years now. And probably longer and like i said i don't think people are going to go back to the beginning so we'll bring the beginning back to you with new updated things and and things like that so we were ready to start and then uh ccpa came into our lives ccpa stands for the california california consumer privacy act and it's basically a privacy act that uh that Tom already doesn't like, but we're going to get into that. That's what we're going to spend our time with. And we're just going to talk about it. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? And I really think we get 30 minutes out of it. So you want to start or you want me to start? Sure, I can I can go ahead and kick this off. Okay. So the California Consumer uh, Privacy Act, the CCPA, uh, has been modeled after the EU's GDPR, the General Data Protection act i believe um now full disclosure we're not lawyers uh we're not here to be your lawyers uh we're definitely not here to represent you or, or give you any legal advice so let's just get that out of the way and none um, of us are in california yeah That's another yeah thing. we have we have passing familiarity with the law with the tech blogs talking about it uh and with certain people on github that are making really nice lists uh to try to help you take advantage of this law which is really where this all falls apart and where my biggest problems are. Now, the GDPR, I think, is a good step in the right direction. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. Um, am I a fan of the stupid cook or the, the cookie acceptance banners everywhere? Oh, no, no, that's awful. Why, why would we do that? Uh, the only thing it does is train users to just click OK on any dialogue that pops up. That is awful. Um, that arguably, it makes everyone less safe and, and less private. Um, <clears throat> But the CCPA and the GDPR are both coming from good places. They know that data is the new oil. They know that people's data is being starved up and sold by everyone and their mother that can get their hands on it and make a, and make a buck. They're going to do it. Uh, but the CCPA falls apart really, really, really quickly and really, really easily because of one major difference between it and the GDPR. The GDPR, if you are a citizen of the European Union, of the EU, um you're you're protected that's that's it that's really it if you want a company to delete your data and you're an eu citizen you you get in contact with their gdpr contact which legally if they do business in the eu or any of the eu countries they have to have a gdpr contact uh throw it over the wall say hey i've got a problem here or hey uh, can you tell me what data you have or can you just delete all my data and legally they have to or they're facing huge fines now the ccpa does not work that way um basically uh you are able as a citizen of california you are now able to opt out of the sale of your personal data uh now just in case you're you're not familiar with all the stupid weasel words and stupid ways that people will try to uh, mess things up for you um it basically means you have to go to each individual company by hand and the good ones will have a nice web form for you to fill out but some of them will say contact customer service or send us a letter or uh, give us a call or get in contact with you know someone uh manually uh to request that we don't sell your data anymore um which means that uh literally every single company in your life 
if you would like to keep your data private, you now have to go through a giant list of everyone you do business with and the people you don't that just have your data uh, and try to make sure that they don't do something nefarious with it by hand. So, so before, so before I just completely destroy this thing, I, I want to say, I mean, Tom's obviously like this doom and gloom dire warning, but right now there's no data protection in any state in the country, everything else. And, and we talked about how, uh, I mean, I think Diane Feinstein, well, she wants to break encryption, but she was also talking about different sort of privacy initiatives. And this is the first one. And it's like we said, like we said in the beginning, I don't. First thing, I don't think anyone knows what's in it. That's the first problem. The second problem is how do you enforce it? And the third problem is like you're saying, you have to. This is an opt out, and it's only for pe residents of California. Now, the good thing is, if you are not, if you're a business that does a lot of business with California, you're probably going to implement this. So this will trickle down to the other states to us, and we we should be able to deal with this. It's like the net neutrality thing. If you want to do business in our state, you have to abide by net neutrality. So companies like Comcast will say, hmm, 56 million people in California, we kind of want them. So we're going to going to have to like bite the bullet. But I found six things. This is I'm going to link this in the show notes. Somebody did a GitHub of all the websites they have found so far. Now, remember, today is January 1st. Uh, people are off today, so I'm assuming tomorrow this list will start getting populated really uh, significantly. But number one, uh, know what personal data is collected about them. So you need to know what stuff is being collected. Uh, they need to tell you if your data is being sold and who they're selling it to. You can't just say trusted third parties. I guess the assumption is you have to explain who they are. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, how to opt out if you would like to say, hey, no, I don't want this. Uh, how to access, you have the right to access your personal data, or like what they keep on you, and uh, request businesses to delete all personal information. Okay, good. And not discriminate in service for exercising their privacy rights under it. That's an important one. So if you sign up for a free service, like if you're not paying for the product, you are the product, they can't say, well, you're going to get limited service because we can't sell your data. You have that right. Again, like what Tom said, you have to go to every single site and do this. And, oh, all those data brokers that we talk about? Well, I don't know what they are. So the only one I know about is Cambridge Analytica. There's probably a lot more. You have to find them and also request to opt out of that. So there, there's the problem. And, and it's not just the companies that you would expect doing this kind of, you know, grabbing all your data and selling it to whoever will give them a dime for it, right? Like you would imagine people like AT&T, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile to be on this list. And they are, right? Uh, maybe, maybe you would even expect some financial companies, right? Chase, you've got Credit Karma, you've got, uh, let me see, I saw PayPal on this list. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people. Maybe some like big websites, right? Uh, we've got, you know, game providers like Blizzard. We've got, uh, you know, social media sites like Pinterest, like Twitter on this list. Um, all right, cool. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I do not see Twitter on this list. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of odd. Uh, but I, I don't think you would imagine that, you know, heading to your local BevMo, your your local uh, beer and, and liquor warehouse, uh, for them to sell your information. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, ha have you ever shopped at a Petco? You need to go buy some dog food or whatever? Yeah, uh, Petco is totally collecting and selling your personal information. Um, do, you, do you own a, uh, a Peloton uh, exercise bike in your third solarium of your giant mountaintop home. Uh, Peloton, yes, they are definitely selling uh, your personal information. Uh, of course, we've got Uber and Lyft on here. We've got Wells Fargo, Xfinity, also known as Comcast. Of course, they're going to sell your data. Um, but uh, companies that you wouldn't expect at all, like you need to pick up a prescription at CVS. Yeah, that giant receipt isn't just, a, you know, the, the dead redwoods of California just spread across miles long thin paper. Uh, they're actually selling and collecting all of your personal information. So yeah, yeah, you have to manually opt out of all of that. So even companies that you never expected to be collecting and sending and selling your personal data all over the place are. Uh, so just thinking about every business that you have ever interacted with and every business that that business has interacted with and sold data to, you now have to opt out of each and every single one of those. So like, 
My like biggest, double, like how about double click? Like yeah. double click, I mean, is a, is a Google property. They bought many years ago. They track you all over the web, but it's not there. Like, do you opt out of Google? Does Google opt you out of double click? Do you have to opt out of double click or what are a million of these trackers? I yeah. mean, how do I get my name off the Gawker lists? That's the key there. The Gawker lists. Yeah. So I, these, I, it's an exercise uh, just absolutely in futility. Um, not only are you going to have to go to every single company, you're going to have to somehow figure out where those companies have partnered with, figure out where your data has been shipped off to, and then try to opt out there. Uh, and if this sounds like a whole lot of work, it, it gets worse because it's not it's not a one click in, in many cases. In many cases, we were clicking through this list and it's contact our customer service or call this phone number and go through a, a weird tree menu or or <laughs> go ahead and send a signed, personalized, notarized letter to this person over here. You know, that's never going to happen. Um, so it, I... I, I'm I'm struggling to find the words because it's just so absurd to me that a law that was that was created with such good intentions it's just so worthless in practice. Um, not only are there like ah, 70, maybe 80 people in California that care enough about their privacy to go through and actually do something related to the CCPA as far as opting out, uh, but out of that like 80 people, you're gonna have like yeah eight or so that would actually go through the amount of insane work requirements to opt out of every single thing to actually take advantage of this law. The law as it is written in its current opt out state is worse than useless. It's a useless panacea. People think that they that now by living in California and by being under this law, they're all kinds of protected and they're not getting any benefit whatsoever. Instead, the company's going to nice CYA. Oh, of course we sold your information. You didn't tell us not to. Uh, and the people feel like they're protected because there's a nice law that has the word privacy in the title. I'm hoping that all the smart people in uh, Silicon Valley will make some sort of uh, script that will one button push it all. Can I ask my dumb cylinder to do this for me? Hey, you, can you go uh, opt me out of all the CCPA lists that you can can we, how about some AI? Can we get some AI and machine learning in, in this? You know, I, I really wish, but the, just the amount of insanity that companies are going to use, because not everyone's going to use the same form letter, right? Not everyone is going to use the same contact information or contact style. Uh, so I, I, without major revisions to this law, and by the way, I don't think that there will be, uh, and I don't think, it, even if there are, it, it'll never get passed. Um, but this is what it looks like when the largest companies in California are basically able to put uh, handcuffs around a bill that would hurt them. Uh, you have to know that the lobbyists in California that work for Google and Facebook and other big companies did not want the CCPA to happen. Uh, and then threw these requirements on it to make sure that even if it did pass, it wasn't going to hurt them at all. No one's going to opt out of this and they know it. Uh, the, the tyranny of the default is alive and well. People don't change default options. Uh, this is why in, in certain states that are you know pretty progressive and smart, um, that they opt people in to organ donor lists uh, instead of you know making it an, uh, or they default opt people into organ donor lists and instead of making them check the box, right? No one's going to go into an options menu. No one's going to select a non-default option. It just doesn't happen. So, I mean... I'm looking through a lot of these and a lot of them are con like you said, contact our privacy department. Okay. I mean, then the problem is they brings up a form letter. Like I went to at and and it says, fill out all your information. And I'm thinking to myself, fill out all my information. Like, why do I need to give you my name, my address, my, this, my, that are you, is this a honey? Is, is this a honey pot? Like, are you just now collecting these? These are the people that we, is this like some other blacklist that's, we're not selling your information. We're giving it away free type thing. Well, it's, it's also going to be weird. Cause let's say you're a person that materially benefits somehow mm -hmm. from these personalized recommendations, right? Maybe it makes your life easier. Maybe uh, whatever. Let's say you like them uh, and you don't want to opt out. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to hate on you. It's a personal choice. It's your data, whatever. So, as the company, you can't just delete someone's information when somebody says, hey, I'm Bob Bobberson. Please delete all my stuff, right? Well, 
are you really Bob? Are you really? Can you prove that you are Bob Boberson? Mm. So now, on top of all of this regulation, you now have to verify people's identities against the information you're given. And as we've seen through data broker leaks, uh, a lot of this information is actually pretty inaccurate. So if you can't pass the challenge to prove that you are this person, you're just never going to get your data deleted without a, a letter from a lawyer. And talk about the tyranny of the default. If somebody has to hire a letter, pay them to write a, a, a signed legal letter to a company to get data removed, it's just, it's never going to happen. Well, it's hold on, hold on, happen. hold on, hold on. My wife is an attorney. She would love to write this letter and she would love <laughs> to charge people to send this letter out. So let's not, let's, not all lawyers are bad, but oh, they no, love no, writing but, letters. But, but people, people won't do that, uh, do that on their own, right? Like if you told me it was one, one button to protect my personal information, cool for, for company ABC, right? Awesome. That's awesome. But if I have to go to a lawyer and talk to somebody, maybe, maybe pay 20 bucks or whatever it takes to get them to sign a letter and ship it off somewhere. I'm just not going to do it. I am supremely lazy. Uh, and the the big non-secret is that the vast majority of people are in my boat. They're also supremely lazy. And they're, they're just not going to go through the effort. I know I wouldn't. I can't I mean, blame them. What I'm hoping for is moving forward. I mean, look, you have the problem is you have to get you have to get Congress to agree on what kinds of privacy laws. And, you know, the lobbyists are going to say, hey, wait a second, we yep. need this for whatever optimization. So as a first, I mean, I think we should go straight GDPR, but then people are going to call me like socialistic and everything else. I, I think GDPR is the right way to go. And I say, agree. Basically, GDPR, like you said, is everyone is in this. You have to store, you have to keep it private. And there are huge penalties, like ridiculously huge penalties for leaks. And and if you don't if you don't comply with data breaches correctly, I think you have seventy two hours to inform people and all this other stuff. It's like a law with like real real teeth in it. Here, it's somebody probably said, "Well, we don't want to do this, but we need this, but we we don't want to piss these people off." So all the lobbyists got into it and basically now said you have to opt in, which is like we said, what's the problem? Um, and it's going to just be like I would like it for when you sign up for an app whatever app that is moving forward, you sign up for something, there would be a checkbox that says, hey, uh, under CCPA, you have to delete this information or I don't want this information or what information, like a permission. Let's call it as a permission and and go from there. I'm liking, I'm liking on some of the new apps I install right now, what they say is on the next screen, you're gonna get a permission that says, allow us to use the camera. This is why we need it. So you click next and then it pops up. Hey, would you like us to use your camera? I would like something like that to say, hey, um, uh, moving, moving forward, uh, we collect this data. Would you like us to keep it? Where is it? Uh, crash statistics, that's what Apple calls it. Uh, would you like to send crash statistics to the developers? And let you choose, not choose, but have some, some default. So not like the tyranny of the default, but say, here is what we collect. We have to list it, but what don't you want us to have? And we will delete it after whatever, three months, 18 months, or what, three years, or never, or whatever it is. And, and give them a reason. If we know that you shop at ShopRite all the time, then we'll start selling you ads. We'll we'll try and give you relevant ads. You don't want denture ads, do you? So moving forward, I would like to see this. I don't know. We, we can't go backwards at this point. So right now you have to do it. Or maybe mm -hmm. make all the companies have like a privacy at company name dot com where you say, please remove me. Here's my information. Like, like a standard catch all. Yeah. I, I, there's this gets interesting because companies that you don't expect, just like I was saying, they, you don't expect them to collect or do anything with your data. Like, okay, CVS collecting your data to give you better ads on like CVS.com or whatever. All right. Okay. I can see it. I get it. But 24 hour fitness, LA fitness. Why, why do they need my information at all? Right. What, what are they possibly doing with my information besides trying to make a buck off of it? That is any benefit to me whatsoever. Uh, what is what is Sempra Energy? 
Uh, they, they're an oil and gas company in California. Like, what are they doing with my private information? If they're a, a natural gas provider, they're literally just providing a resource through a pipe into my house and I pay them for it, right? It's like the water company. They don't need to know any of my information whatsoever. They don't need to sell it at all. But they are for some reason because they're caught up in the CCPA. And I'm really, really wondering what are they collecting and why? So, uh, and one of the nice things that I think is going to come out of the CCPA is people, you know, making news stories and headlines by saying, hey, uh, under the CCPA, company ABC, you have to give me everything you have on me and then exposing that and saying, okay, well, looks like Semper Energy has got this or looks like Verizon has this and laying it out on the table so everyone can see this is the type of profile they collect on you. And it's for these reasons. Uh, and I think that's one of the good things that's going to come out of this law. I don't think the CCPA in total, in aggregate, is a bad thing. I, I think it's better than where we're at, just like you said. But compared to what there could have been, it's just so depressing. I'm involved in semi-local government. I mean, I'm not an elected official or anything. I don't advise people, but I, I keep an ear. And to get anyone to agree to literally anything is so monumental. This is why government works so slowly. So from if you follow this law, this was just this was just like optional. This was like this was in like the request for comments section. And all of a sudden they said, okay, we're we're just gonna take all those comments, we're gonna make it a law, and we're gonna see what sticks. You have six months to implement it from six months ago, from June 30th. So I'm looking at 24 hour fitness. And it's, and I just saw biometric check-in. Like you can opt out of the biometric check-in. And what they're doing is they're storing your fingerprints so they can, uh, what's it called? So you don't have to bring your membership card. But they in bold say, we don't store your fingerprint. Uh, they do, they they hash it. They don't sell this and everything else. But for a fitness center, I, I'm sure the insurance companies want this because I know my insurance company will, well, basically, if I sign in 12 or 15 times, they'll give me some sort of credit back. But if they can get some more information on it, that becomes a bigger problem. So the the gyms should be much more careful with this stuff. But who knows? Yeah. In, in the uh, we have seen time and time again, there's there's a story probably once a month about how some data leak somewhere like implicated somebody in something uh, or resulted in uh, just complete and utter heartbreak. There was a, a story several years ago. I know we talked about it on this show where somebody got a letter with um, first name, but the last name from the form that, that was filled in on this letter says has dead daughter. Uh, and this company just sent it to this dude who daughter, uh, whose daughter had, you know, tragically passed away at a young age. And it was, just horrifying um so i i think i think we're going to start to see more exposés on the types of data that's collected by these companies why they're collecting it what they're doing um and that's going to be a good thing um i'd i'd really like to see another state take a crack at this but frankly california was in the best position to pass something like this and they just missed the mark so for TransUnion, you need to create an account in order to opt out. And that's, again, the problem because TransUnion already has your data. And like Tom said at the beginning, you have to verify who you are. And so, like you said, I, I mean, I'm going to spend my day off. I'm going to take a day off just to do this. And everything I sign on, I'm going to have to now, now we're going to have to explain to people every six months, go through all the companies you touched, or you may not have touched in the last six months and, and keep a list and find it out. It's, I'm hoping somebody makes some sort of script that goes in and says, here's my information, like the, the Comcast uh, bot that lowers your cable bill. Like you call the bot and it'll do the phone call for you and whatever else. But until that happens, like you said, it's, uh, yeah, I think California is 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 the person to do this. But you would think that this would be – you would think that Republicans – like this is not a Republican-Democrat issue. I think anybody who believes in the Fourth Amendment and privacy would want this. Like I, I, I don't understand. I don't – this should be bipartisan 
or nonpartisan. It should be everyone to say, hey, I kind of don't want this. Can we make this stronger? Like, I, I don't know who's railing against this other than obviously the data brokers. But yeah, I, I don't I know we try to avoid getting political on this yeah. show, but it's it's pretty well known at this point in America that people do not elect our elected officials. It's yeah. corporations, government yeah. and or our corporations and lobbyists that elect our government officials. So a law like this, the only thing it benefits is the people and the 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 entity it hurts is the corporations. And if you're looking to get reelected next year, you are not siding with the people. You are siding with the people who are going to keep you in office. And I guess the, and that's the, not that's not a red. That's not a blue. That's not a green. That's yeah. not a purple. It's not a party thing. It is quite literally across the board here in America. I mean, once you get elected into office, your job is to get reelected. And that's unfortunately the problem. But look, I, I, I'm just looking at this and I'm saying, look, this is a good first step, but I, we just have to obviously make this stronger because I don't know what, what it's there. It's just, is this going to be another cookie banner at the bottom where you say, accept the cookies, block the notifications, don't track my location. And then the other one, it's going to be like a, like a fourth or fifth one that says, Hey, if you want to opt out, click here. I mean, even that, I don't, I don't want that either because we, you have the cookie thing. No one reads it. Now you want another thing, click here to opt out. So you're going to have to create an account, opt out of it, and then read your one, your article or comment on this one website that you do once in your lifetime. And unfortunately, yes, that's, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. The the one thing I I do want to point out is um, CCPA number six, um, uh, California residents have the right to not be discriminated against in service for exercising their privacy rights under the CCPA. Uh, this is actually, it's at the bottom of the list, but this is something we should not gloss over. Um, what is super important here is that let's say, let's say a company says, sure, you can opt out, but we're going to come by next, next week and shut off your natural gas or refuse to fill your prescriptions or cancel your phone contract, right? You don't want any of that to happen because then it's, it's quite literally the same as just opting out of using the company altogether. If a company can say, well, that's fine. If you're not going to let us sell your data, we're just not going to give you anything. Uh, so the CCPA actually requires that companies do not retaliate against people for exercising their privacy rights. This is fantastic. It's great. I, I think as it's, you know, the, the little blurb that's written here, it's fantastic. Um, and whatever whatever bill that comes next, whatever the next step is in our privacy legislator, this needs to be there bar none. Just copy and paste, lift and shift. It works perfect just as it is. Look, I, these six things all sound great. I mean, all of them are exactly what we want. I, I think it's just the next thing is we need to make it from opt out to, like we said, opt in. Or you, It has to be across the board. It has to be, we're not selling this data. Who are, This is what we're selling. And we will delete it after X number of months. Like basically what we said with GDPR. Um, number six, in this case, in this, uh, in this list, do not discriminate. Absolutely. This should be, this should probably be number one, but... Yeah. So it's, I don't want the, the good to be the enemy of the perfect, but um, it has clearly missed the mark where it counts. So it's like you said, it's uh, it's, it's a good first step. It's um, I, I think GDPR should have, they should have lifted just GDPR and say, we want this here. But again, you're going to get the people say the EU is too heavy handed. And if we do GDPR, we're going to have what the, the cookie people have. They did that and we don't want that. So we have to make our own law, but I don't know. We're talking about this for too long at this point. But again, if uh, we're just to wrap up, if you are in California and we'll we'll provide some uh, show notes for you. You can click on these links and you can go there and you can try and exercise it. You can tell us in the WhatsApp group how easy or hard it was. What was the response if you did it? Because obviously we're not in California, so we can't actually do this. But like we said, we hope other companies or other states, or I, you know what, just the companies. Uh, if you don't want, if you believe in states' rights, how about the company say we we follow CCPA? If you were living in New Jersey and you want to opt out, here you go. That would be a good thing, also. Yeah, 
We, we've actually, just like you said, we've seen that with net neutrality, where one state will uphold that and say, okay, if you want a government contract, you have to be net neutral. And then the company as a whole says, I, that's fine. We're just going to do it across the board because why not? It's easier to do it across the board than to have 50 individual rule books. Look, and, and then just say, you know what? If you don't give us, we use this information for X, Y, and Z, you're not going to get that benefit. But if you're okay with that, that's fine. If you yeah. want your denture ads and uh, annuity life insurance ads, go for it. Give me all the AARP ads. I want ads for diapers. I want ads for, for Xbox games because I don't own an Xbox. Like, give me all the non-relevant stuff because who knows? It might work. I might go buy an Xbox tomorrow. Probably not. Nope. Oh, right. anyway, we are over time. Uh, I think a tease for next week, we we do need to talk about more privacy, but uh, there has been a couple articles about uh, the DNA tests and how the DNA tests are like, you, sh you should just not buy one. But maybe that'll be for next week. And everyone have a good night. We'll see you next week. See you, everyone. Bye. There were two articles about, D we're off, but DNA testing. Where one okay. of them was like the DOD said you are not the DOD's guidance is not to do this. Do not if you are on base.